Hello, uh, my name is Jim Ward and I'm with uh, Go Engineer Technical Support. In this video, I will show you how to update a SOLIDWORKS PDM client to a new server. Uh, when a SOLIDWORKS PDM archive server or database server is moved to a new server, then the clients that point to those servers need to be updated to point to the new servers. The server names are kept in the registry and must be modified to point the local vault view to the new servers. The location of the server information in the registry is dependent on the choices during installation of the vault view. These are the two locations in the registry to update if the vault view was installed for all users. This option for all users is the preferred method to install a local vault view. Please note that the locations are almost the same. One is for the 64-bit area that's in the HKEY Local Machine Software, SOLIDWORKS Applications, PDMWorks Enterprise, Databases, and then the name, name of your vault. The other location is in the 32-bit area, so it's in the WOW 6432 node. And that's really the only difference in those paths. So again, HKEY Local Machine Software, WOW 6432 node, SOLIDWORKS Applications, PDMWorks Enterprise, Databases, and then your vault name. If the view was installed while choosing only for me, then here is the location in the registry that needs updating. Notice it's in the HKEY current user now, not an HKEY local machine, but HKEY current user, software, SOLIDWORKS, applications, PDMWorks enterprise, vaults, and then your vault name. Now I will show you how to update the registry. To start the registry editor, we come down here in the search, um, Cortana, and we type regedit, that's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Brings us into the registry. Now again, we start with HKEY local machine, and then software, and we have to scroll down to SOLIDWORKS. Applications, PDMWorks Enterprise, Databases, and then here is your, your database. And then these are the areas where you need to pay attention. So the d database server is here. So you can just double click it and notice it will pull it up and you can type in the new name. You can, and then server LOC is the other one. So again, you double click and you type in the new name. Now, if you're doing um, only this one computer and you don't have other computers, then um, that's all you need in this area. However, if you need to uh, update multiple computers, something that you can do is you can export this key. So if you right click, click this and choose export, and you decide on a good place to save it to. In my case, I'm gonna put it over here in my temp folder. and you can call it whatever you like. Um, I put a number one after it because there are two locations that I need to export. So SOLIDWORKS registry one. And now the other location is in the 32-bit area that's down here in the WOW 6432 node. So again, we're still under software, but I'm just selecting the WOW 6432 node. And again, SOLIDWORKS, applications, PDM Works Enterprise, Databases, and again, you select the, the name of your vault. And once again, we can go to the database server and update that as necessary. And again, server LOC is the other location. Let's double click it and change it to the new value. Tell that OK. And then again, you can uh, select this and choose Export. So that's what I called it before, reg1. Now in this case, I want to call it reg2. Differentiate and choose save. That's great. So now that, and that's it for an individual computer. Now notice uh, I do have the registry values over here in my temp location. So I can go C, um, go down to, let's see my temp. And here's my two registries. Now, 
in order to use these, you would copy these to the computer that you want to um, update the registry on, and then you simply double click it. And it gives us this um, information, the dialog box, you tell it, yes, I do want to continue. And then it tells us that it was successful in copying this information into the registry. That's only for one. You do need to do it for the other one. And it does the same thing. You double click, tell it yes, and OK, and you're good. So again, you would just copy these two registry keys to any other computer that you need to update. And that makes it much more quick to update the other computers. If you had installed that local vault view as only for me, and now you need to update the registry to point it to a new server, you come here into HKEY Current User Software. SOLIDWORKS, Applications, PDMWorks Enterprise. Notice this area does look considerably different than when you're an HKEY local machine. But still, you come down here to Vaults and find your vault, which would be um, Acme 2 here. And you select um, the main one. And then again, here is the, excuse me, the database server is really where you're interested. And also the server LOC. Now, while you um, you can still export this key, I'm not sure when it's um, for individual users, whether that will be useful on other computers. You may do best to actually um, edit each one of those individually. Now, remember that all client computers will need to have their registries updated to the new servers. You can visit each computer and modify its registry directly, or you can update one, export the registry settings, and import the registry settings on other computers. One uh, final note is that after you have changed the settings in your registry, you must exit out of your local vault view in order for this to update properly. So, and you would exit out, of course, by coming down to the lower right-hand corner, selecting this little up arrow, select your PDM icon, and choose exit. Then when you do that, uh, that, that will update things that when you um, go back into your local vault view, both the database that it points to and the archive server that it points to will update and it, and it will um, operate properly. This has been Jim Ward from Go Engineer showing how to update a SOLIDWORKS PDM client computer to point to a new archive or database server.